welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I will be doing part two to the turtle. Part one was on Monday. You got to see how I did the dirty pour with resin. Now the second part was already done at that point and so you did get to see it already, but you don't know how I did it. So that is what I'm gonna be walking you through today. How I did the mosaic tiling, I guess would be the word that I'm gonna use how I did the mosaic tiling on my turtle. So stay tuned. To start off, I have this giant bucket of awesomeness with all resin skins from runoffs of the projects that I have done. The yellow ones I actually just poured and then I cut them up to make my sunflower. If you follow along my Instagram or my YouTube stories, you've already seen this beauty. And so these ones I actually did a pour with. Everything else is, uh, and this one I did as well because I'm doing a um, specialty commission on that one. Everything else is what has come off. So if you've been following me for a while, you've seen these runoffs. These were from the side tables that I created. Um, there's just so many different colors in here to choose from and that's really all I do. I go through and I pick apart and choose which ones that I need for the project that I'm working on, whatever color scheme I'm trying to go with. Um, I do save my acrylic skins as well because those are also usable. Really any of the skins. I don't, I don't like to throw any of them away. Um, and then that way, whenever I need certain colors, I will have them. I have a bunch of different colors. And they're all so fun. This one was the runoff from the ocean piece that I did. Yeah, and just these skins are so beautiful. I don't see any point to throwing them away. And it took me a while to, before I figured out kind of what I wanted to do with them but I've also set them within trays as well. So that's another thing that you can do with the skins. This one's really pretty. It's cream and green and gold. So, yeah. I love to do trays and I love to do um, these mosaics. The mosaics are like my favorite thing. So, now I'm gonna walk you through how I cut them. First off, I found this really cool strip that was similar to the colors I wanted to use that was all resin runoff, the drips that kind of collect on the bottom. And I was able to collect it in a line and I decided to go ahead and use this as my edging for this particular side. Just this half is gonna be the mosaic tiling and then the other half I did decide to do a dirty pour if you didn't catch that particular video, then you can do so here. All I'm doing is gluing this along the edge and then I'm gonna start cutting my triangles. It is extremely difficult to cut cured resin, so what you wanna do is make sure that you're heating it up with like a heat gun and that's gonna be perfect. I actually do think you would be able to utilize a blow dryer to heat this up because you don't want to overheat the resin. The only thing is if the resin is extremely thick you're probably gonna have to heat it up every single time you make a cut so I am looking for a couple other methods to do this with and if I do come across one that's better I will share it on my stories so make sure you are following me on those and you'll be able to have those random tips and tricks that I share within my day-to-day -day basis so when I first start doing these pieces I just cut a bunch of triangles with the cooler parts of the pores that I found, the ones that I feel like have the most unique artwork on them. And I just cut those up and then I'm gonna start trying to lay them out. I start on the turtles, cause I've done, this is my fourth turtle that I've done. The turtles, I start along this inside edge and I go all the way up where I did the resin drip frame. And then I work my way over. I find this to be the easiest method since I really like to have that straight line alongside the middle of the turtle. And if you're struggling with the smaller pieces, you can utilize some tweezers to help you with moving the piece around and gluing it. I did use super glue because I didn't want any of these pieces to move and I just 
put the super glue on the wood or on the resin piece itself. I kind of varied it up. There's no real good method there. Just make it easy, make it work for you and have fun doing it. I also try to vary the triangles in size and shape. I want some to be giant equilateral triangles, others to be isosceles. I just want to make sure that I am giving my mosaic a good variety. I love the mosaics where they're all squares, but it is not the same as having something that just represents my heart because I am totally abstract and that's why I go about this method. I am certain that you can have a really cool mosaic piece with equilateral triangles as well and just have everything fit together if you're wanting to create some type of image within your image. That would be really neat. After I'm done gluing down all of these pieces, I let it all completely dry and then I'm going to start using a very small paintbrush to glue in between these pieces. And all I'm doing is painting it to fit in between all of those and then I'm just pouring my glitter right over top. I do save all the extra glitter so don't worry about waste. I make sure to not waste any of it. I am obsessed with glitter and I don't want to waste any. So just paint on your lines. I did it in sections because the glue did dry pretty quickly. And then once all the glitter is done, I took that same paintbrush the, uh, probably a couple hours later, once everything was fully dried, then I blew it off with compressed air so that way I could find any holes. And if I found any holes, then I filled them, waited for it to dry again. And once I knew there were no more holes, all I did was pour resin right over top. I did not worry about hair or perfection with this layer because I do actually go back and do a second layer once I'm done with my dirty pour. And then I take all the tape off and then I do one solid, nice, flat resin right over top. I'm gonna to show you guys a few pictures here at the end and you'll be able to see everything nice and shiny, gorgeous, beautiful, I love it, and that's it. So let me know what you guys thought of this turtle project now that you've seen how I did both sides, and I am really looking forward to showing you the ocean one that I came up with. I think it's gonna look really cool and super unique. It's just, ah, I love it. I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> I just love it so much. All right, everyone, that's it for today. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of my other videos. And don't forget to go check out the Facebook group so you can enter to win the Abstract Boss Award. Have an amazing week, everyone.